Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on my July budget. I'm already on my June spread. Today is Thursday the 29th and I didn't spend any money today. Um, if you guys have been following my Vloon series, you will notice that home improvement stuff is not on here because that comes from a totally separated budget from my normal like day-to-day -day expenses, which basically most of these besides this one right here were all taken out of my like debit card like I don't take out cash for that and then cash for like any of my home things that's just it just doesn't work you know so anyway so let's go into July obviously it's a new month I don't have anything like set for expenses however I do actually have my tabs that are due in August but I think I'm gonna pay for them in July you know just because and yes today I'm gonna use blue ink mark this day in history you guys so in July the only weird thing I have to pay for is gonna be those car tabs so let's get into this thing and just FYI let's go let's go back if you are interested in anything that is on this page all of these lovely stickers are from Coffee Break Planner. I will put the link below. The um, item to look for is the Emily's Budget Bundle, which is all of these. And then these little sidebar stickers, which I didn't end up using, but I wanted to put it in my planner anyways, um, are a separated sheet. But if you, I think if you just search budget, um, it'll pop right up for you guys. So let's do the July. And as always, I like to use an Erin Condren sticker sheet. Um, I actually got my mom this print in a blanket and I think she currently has it on her. Yes, she does. Uh, my parents are both sitting off camera being very quiet, so thank you. <laughs> and it's about 10 o'clock at night on Thursday, and this video needs to go up on Friday, so I'm a little stressed for time, but I think, I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. All right, so I don't know what I do with this page. I know a lot of people ask, what do I do with that page? I don't do anything with it. I do nothing with it. I'm a bad planner. I don't do anything with that page. I really should, but I, I don't have any good ideas. Um, I know there's a lot of other planner peeps out there that have some really great ideas, but I'm just, I'm not that person, especially for that page. I just get, I get too confused by it, so I just, I skip over it. Okay, well I guess you can kind of see over this red. This is kind of like this weird pattern of this like stitched pattern. I don't know. It's fine, it's just very different in sticker form than it is in blanket form. All right, and I've got my little silver guys. These are all from Erin Condren. So these stickers are all from Erin Condren. All the ones I showed before are from Coffee Break Planner, but I'll be leaving links below for you guys. And this planner right here is from Erin Condren as well. The tabs are not, the tabs are from Michaels. If you're interested, they're the recollections and I just like wrote the names of the months on there. Erin Condren makes tabs now probably because they saw all these people doing this and they wanted to, you know, get in on the on the scoop. So, sorry about the shadowing. Like I said, it's like 10 p.m. at night and this is like the stick, like that shadow that's right here. It's like the stick that's on. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so in July, we have four weeks. So, I think I'm just gonna put the paychecks on the right-hand column like I did last time and then we'll do the rest in the center here. And just to let you know, um, these are estimates. Oops, I shouldn't talk while I do this. <laughs> um, this is how much I will get paid per week if I work 40 hours. If I work less, I'll get paid less. If I work more, I'll get paid more. Um, but I just like to put in, you know, for 40 hours because that's always the goal, you know? Um, I actually already ran my payroll check for tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday and um, I did like 42 and a half hours or something but you know it's amazing how fast that stuff adds up you know when you're just got a couple extra hours it's kind of nice on that paycheck you know all right so let me zoom you guys in a little bit more here kind of see what's going on all right so my kind of fixed expenses I'll put at the top and then, you know, I'll go into like cash and 
miscellaneous down here at the bottom. All right, so these are all of my fixed expenses. Some of these are still estimates because I still haven't received an actual bill yet. So I've got my HOA at 158, my insurance, which is my auto, uh, at 104.17, my cell phone, my Netflix, the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is $50 more than normal right now because I had to pay a service fee for like a one-time setup charge, but after that it'll go back to the $45.29. Uh, center point I know how much that is that's for my gas and that's $44 I'm, I'm on this like payment plan thing with them so I'm paying a little bit more right now so when I use the gas more in the winter time like my payments aren't gonna fluctuate and every 12 months I guess they rotate so when if they see that you're using more then they'll end up charging you more per month but it's only gonna go up like a dollar or two and then obviously if you you're if you're using less then it'll fluctuate down so it'll just kind of fluctuate with your use the electric I still haven't received a bill yet the garbage I still haven't received a bill yet and the water sewer, I still haven't received a bill yet, but these are all estimates from the previous owner. Also, you'll notice that in July, I don't have a mortgage payment yet. Um, the first mortgage payment is due on August 1, not July 1. So, and I still haven't gone over that in detail. I will end up doing that sometime this month in July. I still haven't moved into the home as of me recording this. I just wanna wait until I'm in the home because it's been a little stressful if you've been watching my Vloon series. Feel free to watch. I will put the link to the Vloon playlist down below if you'd like. If you haven't watched any of it, I highly recommend it. Uh, June 1 was actually my closing day, so if that says anything, and I've been vlogging every single day this month, and today, when you see this, is actually the last day of Vloon. So sad. All right, so let me put in my cashola, my grocery money. Um, this month, I'm gonna do like 300 bucks because I'm gonna need some cash money for just all those random things that you need from the grocery store. And I will be doing a grocery haul. A few of you suggested to do that for like a move-in haul. I do have some like dry goods and stuff already over there, but you know, just those random things that you need, I will be doing a haul for you guys. So just wanted to address that. Dining out money. I'll still put around 150, which is what I normally do. Uh, gas for my vehicle is typically around $200, so I'm gonna just estimate for that. And then, honestly, I don't really have much else. I have my auto tabs that I know in the state of Minnesota are like ridiculous. I have to change my license plates as well as get tabs. I have no scope of how much that's gonna be. But I'm just gonna estimate it's gonna be like 300 bucks and that might be really high, that might be really low. When I used to live in North Dakota, they were like less than $100 for the tabs and the plates. I have no scope of how much they cost here. It's just a little bit crazy. But let me get this all added up um, and then you know put it against my paycheck and then we'll see how much money I can possibly put towards the mortgage or put towards savings for home furnishings and things like that too. So like I said, I'm using a totally separate budget for the home furnishing situation. I'm kind of saving up up for certain things and I've allocated other money for like all the bedding that you saw from Target and things like that that came from another fund um, which was a savings fund all right and then my total down here at the bottom is 950 so let's get this calculated all right so then down at the bottom here I just made a little sticker friend this is kind of a new thing I just decided to do right now Let's take a look here. All right, so the I means incoming, the O means outgoing, and then at the bottom is kind of like the amount saved. So this is like a plus right here. So my incoming is right here, $2,630.16. And then projected with all of these things, which you can't see, so hold on a second, there we go. So all of that, which is also you know my cash spending, and then my gas and auto tabs, which might be 300, they could be more, I don't know. But we'll, ad we'll adjust it when we see next month. Projected outgoing is $1,608.69, which leaves me in excess of little over a thousand dollars so one thousand twenty one dollars and forty seven cents so 
that's always exciting to see a plus at the end of the month. You know what I'm saying? I think all of the excess, what I will end up doing is putting that towards more house funding. So whether that is above and beyond my first mortgage payment or whether that's gonna be furnishings for the home, I'm not really sure, but I would like to put it towards like the house stuff for now because there is a lot of stuff still to do get done and do. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, and even when my uh, mortgage happens, it will be totally fine. And you guys will see that hopefully very soon if future Emily can get her act together. All right, so this is it for the July budget. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below and I will get back to you. If you like the video and like budget videos, feel free to come back on Fridays. Those are typically my financial Fridays. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys very, very soon. After this video posts, I will have a Vloon video post where I talk about how long it took me to do this video. So anyways, I am gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave my financial playlist down below if you'd like to watch some more financial things from me. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye guys.